This screencast shows a procedure for recording data in Power Chrome. We start by opening up the Power Chrome software and get this easy access window. The new table button lets you create a new table, for example a new calibration, method or sequence table. Once you've saved those tables, you'll have to click here to edit those tables. If you click view data, it lets you view data you've collected before. This one for example. Run table lets you run tables that you've made up here. But the simplest thing to start off with is to do a manual run. This manual sampling box has many options which I'll cover in a different key screencast. For the moment I'm just going to click start. You've got to give it a name test 2 for example and the software is now ready to collect some data I'm going to open up the x-axis a bit when you're ready to inject your sample you click inject and the software has moved time to zero here and I can now collect some data So we have three peaks for example, and once you've collected all your peaks, you can click stop. I'm now going to go to data, analyze run, and the software will integrate those three peaks. If I go to window, peak report, this shows how the software has integrated those three peaks. Peaks 1, 2 and 3, you can change the color if you want and give them names, I'm going to call them A, B and C. And the software has calculated all of these values. If you want to know what TR is, for example, you can open this and you'll see it's the retention time. Here we have the start time, the end time, the height in volts, and this is height as a percent. This is the area, and the area as a percent. And the software has also calculated these values such as the width of the peak at 10% height, the asymmetry of the peak, the efficiency and the resolution. If you want to collect a new injection, you just click on start, start, and when you're ready to inject, you click inject and collect some more peaks. When you're finished, you click stop. Data analyze run will integrate those two peaks. And the peak report now shows those two peaks. This window here shows your runs. So you can collect up to 999 runs in one file. These can be blanks, standards, or samples. And you can flick through to see the different runs.